Hey gang, Matt here with Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're going to talk about uh, how you can use DynaChange to do a couple things to some fields. We're going to make one required. We're going to edit the color. Um, we're going to protect a field, and we will also change the actual text on a field. Uh, so if you remember last time we added delivery instructions and carrier to our uh, home screen on the order tab. So I'm going to go into screen designer. I know it's version two is the one that I'm going to want to edit. Um, you can also verify by clicking see users and roles um, who this is going to affect. Uh, so I'm going to click on the little edit button. And a lot of these changes are very simple. Um, some of them you can do on some fields and some fields you can't do. Um, and that's really just trial and error. So delivery instructions, first thing I wanna do is I wanna make this required. So I'm gonna click on the box, make sure I don't have both the, the tag and the box uh, shown. So I'm gonna make it required. And then on the carrier, let's say that we call it truck for our business. Uh, now keep in mind, when you do that, it will only change the visible tag. It will not change the database column, which is this control name here. Um, that stays the same. So just keep that in mind if you start changing a lot of the text on the field. Uh, and then we're also going to come in here and we're going to say, uh, we're not going to require a job, but we want to make sure it's called out. So we're going to make it green just so it stands out a little bit. And then we're going to protect a field. We're, in our business, we have it set up so you have a default sales location. We don't want our uh, people in this group to change their sales location. So I'm going to click on this field and I'm going to come over here to the protected field. And you'll notice that it grayed it out. Uh, and so I'm going to save this and I'm going to log out and log back in so we can see the changes. Okay, we're logging back in after we uh, logged out, logged back in. Um, and the first thing you'll notice is obviously the green square that is now here on the front. Uh, again, that I didn't make that required. I just made it so it kind of stands out a little bit and you can pick whatever color you want. You'll notice that I cannot interact with my sales order location ID because I made that protected. Uh, you'll notice the carrier has now changed to truck here. And you'll notice this little red line on the side of the delivery instructions. So if I come in here now and try to enter in some items on an order, and I try to skip over that box and just try to put in a note, you'll notice it tells me, nope, delivery instructions are required. So if I put tests in here, and when I come down here and I add my item, it'll allow me to add the item. Now, if you come up here and try to clear out the message, it's not gonna let you. Now, what you can do is if you had made a mistake in the message, you can still come up here and type um, and it, it'll keep it. Uh, but the most important thing is once you've already filled it in and you got to the item level, you're gonna have to make sure you keep something in delivery instructions, it won't let you. Also important note, if you make a change to something and making it required, and then you come back and you open up an order that doesn't have a note in there, Obviously, it may already have items on it because you, you've kind of already skipped past that. So if I came in here, oh, let me check this order, and I hit save, it's now going to make sure that I put delivery instructions because now at this time, this is a required field. Um, so that's it. I mean, again, that's some basic changes. We're going to do some more changes on, we're going to do some more videos on how to do alignments and things like that. Um, but if you have questions about this, uh, other topics uh, or even more dining change topics uh, put a comment down below make sure you like and subscribe and as always atlas will be here for your p21 needs thanks guys